Well, welcome to like the third week almost of 2020. It is uh, January 17th, Friday. And uh, sorry to have disappeared from the scene for a while. Had uh, some weird health things last week, but the really good news is I think I'm out of the woods. And uh, there anyway, there's a few scary things happened last week, but it it all turned out. Um, I'll tell you more of that story in a second. First, I guess I should tell you about that song because one of the things that that I've finally been able to do is take some time and sit down and play the guitar and um, have resurrected a couple of songs. That one is called One Step Beyond, and it, there's a really good chance that nobody's ever heard that unless I think the last time I played it in public was, I don't, I don't know, I may have done it on a video sometime in the last 10 years, going on 11 now, uh, for TG here, but uh, I did find a, I was going through some old recordings of concerts I did, and it reminded me of a couple of songs that have just fallen off my radar, although it turns out one that I might play at the end of this if I haven't rambled on too long. Um, I I did play at a, on an on a acoustic snapshot called Session 55. Um, that one's called Along the Way. So I might get to Along the Way, or I might just save it for another day, because um, these two pieces, One Step Beyond and Along the Way, I sort of, for the last few days, have been playing them again and thinking, man, I never play those things, and they're really fun. That one, One Step Beyond, was written in about 2002, I think shortly after I finished. I think it was the first thing I wrote after I finished my last album. Um, what's it called? El Dorado. And, uh, and it was really the first time I got really percussive in one of my own pieces, I think. Um, so it was, I, I felt like it was, the title refers to a couple of different things in there. One of it is, one of them is the intervals that are used in the melody. There's weird intervals. Anyway, I, I won't go too much into the theory of what's going on there, but but uh, yeah, that's a, a piece that I remember really loving for many years and then really forgetting for many, many more years. So um, health update first, though, is that uh, last week I was really feeling like things were headed not in the right direction. And I uh, luckily I had a doctor's appointment and a, and a physical therapy appointment. And there was still a lot of pain in my knee. It was still really swollen. And my knee surgeon, Dr. Miller, had given me a horror story of the next nine months if this infection wasn't beat by like this this path that we're on. And I was really afraid we were heading there and I do know indirectly two people that have headed down that path and it's not good. Anyway, the exciting news is the next day after the doctor's appointment, after we even decided to get a new blood test and stuff like that, the after the doctor's appointment, it felt like almost like new. Swelling was down a little bit. I could bend it further than I can my good leg, which seemed remarkable, and uh, I could walk normally. So anyway, um, it was like an overnight transition, transformation. Anyway, that was so um, feeling really good and really encouraged about what's going going to happen and getting back to life at TG. Speaking of which, um, let me give you a little thing. What's going on at TG? A couple of things. One is you may have noticed. <laughs> a lack of lessons over the last many, many weeks. And there's, a, there's kind of a reason for that. We are, there's a lot of wheels turning in the background that, uh, that are making it so that if we put up stuff right now, it, they could get, could mess up the works. So we will get back on board in the very near future with moving forward. So don't panic, we're not going away and um, we're actually uh, improving a lot of stuff and the, the big wheels are now turning instead of just the small ones. So, so bear with us. New stuff just around the corner. And uh, oh, what else is going on at TG is we put together a really a survey kind of that uh, most of the people, if you if you open the emails from us, they come out every you know week or so, a couple weeks. There was a link to a survey asking about some of the things you like, some of the things you don't like. Um, and what you'd like to see happen, fairly short, six or seven questions, I think, maybe maybe eight. Uh, this is dumb, I should do research and I should know exactly how many were on there because I've looked at it and I've looked at some of the responses we've gotten and really appreciate them. So uh, anyway, so we have a separate link to that, but if you haven't, uh, if you haven't, you know, weighed in on what you'd like to see happen at TG, please do. Uh, let's see, what else? 
our dear friend Muriel Anderson was here a couple days ago, but I couldn't get any videos with her. She was here like for about 12 hours. Flew in from Hawaii on, on her way to LA, and um, but she will be back. And if anybody, so check her schedule because right now she's in Southern California doing all kinds of stuff related to the NAM show, but some other shows. There's a thing I may have missed it. It might have been already. There was a House of Blues thing with uh, women of guitar and other stuff. But you can check out what's been going on with Muriel at murielanderson.com, and then she'll be here in Northern California in Danville, which is about. 45 minutes north of, of where we are here in uh, near the Santa Cruz Mountains on, I think, the 25th, Saturday. Would that add up right? Would the 25th be Saturday? 18th? No. Yes. Next Saturday. And then I think Tuesday the 28th she'll be in Soquel uh, or Aptos at Michael's on Main. I think that's in Soquel. I forget. Yeah, it's Soquel. Never mind. Just outside of Santa Cruz. So if you're in uh, back up here in Northern California, you'd like to catch Muriel. That's her. That's her schedule. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I appreciate the answer from uh, McFingers on uh, the mystery sixth tune. I listened to Cheyenne, and I don't see the connection, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> That's the tune we're talking about. I hope I dug up the right one. Um, but anyway, that's the, that's the mystery tune. And according to Mark, who did some research on this too, it it appears it could be a secondary theme that got used in the Rifleman. So if anybody has any more answers on Guy Van Duzer's mystery sixth song, please check it out. But um, I do, uh, and I, I should add in the link to uh, to the Cheyenne that I found um, the theme song, which is one I'd never heard of. Not unusual though. Uh, let's see, what else did I want to talk about? I think that's about it. Oh, so I want to try to play this other tune. As I got into writing uh, kind of percussive songs, I thought I'd like to write something in the bossa nova style where more like, um, not so much like Girl from Ipanema, something a little bit more abstract that has a much longer section. And I got to go through both sections twice, otherwise you'll just say, this just rambles on and on forever. And it's going to ramble on and on forever. It's probably four minutes long anyway. Uh, it's called Along the Way, and I can't promise too much about this. I do want to drop a quick hint of... Anybody's thinking about traveling? The, weekend ab the week after Labor Day, we might have some things to talk about like in the next couple of weeks. September 14th. And it could just be a family wedding that I'm inviting everybody to. That is kind of a big deal. My daughter, Rebecca, is getting married sometime in the next year and a half. Could be that week. But uh, So anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to tackle this thing that I wrote. I was trying to be as dissonant as possible with melodies that don't seem like they make sense and notes uh, and places and it, that goes places you don't expect. And so you might have to hear this a lot of times to buy it, to accept the fact that, well, I'm going to say that uh, <laughs> this is the kiss of death. Most of the notes I'm going to play, I intended to play. But there could be some that I didn't intend to play. Okay, this is a long way. And I think I will check out with this and uh, be back next week.
Well, there you have it. January 17th, those are the things I've been playing. I hope everybody's having fun working on whatever you're working on. And uh, new stuff rolling out as soon as all the cogs are back in the right place. See you soon.